Welcome to my channel and thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I would also like to welcome Spirit into this reading and say thank you for the messages we are about to receive. This is a general reading. Now you've got the money path over there. So uh, a path with money is waiting for you to find it. So you're on the right track. Uh, you just have to, uh, you know, maybe do a little research to get yourself into that uh get yourself back on track really uh, but it looks like there's money that is there waiting uh, for you to find it really uh, beware of self-delusion so make sure that you have uh, you know yourself grounded uh, you know don't make plans that are based in fantasy try to make sure that you have very practical plans in place with that dragon card you've got the throne card over here so a position of authority so this could be a promotion coming in and maybe that's why the money card says the money is waiting for you to find it you might want to um, you know change jobs or even get a promotion and you should go for it uh, but you do need to do some research before you do that now, in the past, you've got the staff. It says you will be taken care uh, of in difficult circumstances. So there might have been somebody that's given you a hand as you've been going through some difficult problems. You've got the crown card over here, which says honor, respect will come to you. So it looks like you've gotten recognition for whatever you've done. Uh, you know, people are putting you up there on that throne, on that pedestal. So it looks like, uh, you know, as far as this could be even your work circumstance, uh, you've received that honor and respect that, uh, you know, you've been looking for. And now maybe a new job offer is going to be coming in for you here, and it's going to be a position of authority there with the throne. So that crown and that throne going together, whatever you've been working on in the past is now starting to pay off. You've got the uh, broom over here it's a new home new attitude so you could be getting a new job and moving on uh you know changing home or even buying a new home over here but you're starting afresh somewhere else or starting afresh in some new circumstance and you've got a fair man over here so dealings or relationships with a man with blonde gray or white hair so there's somebody that is going to be coming in which who's going to have some influence on you and he might have gray hair or fair hair so uh, be uh on the lookout for that really so those are the energies for that week So I'm going to be using the Mona Lisa Tarot for this uh, read. I have put it in the description box, so have a look. So you've got the Ace of Swords over here, and you can see this person, uh, this woman, is doing some really, really intricate work. Uh, you know, she's a seamstress. So whatever work you're doing, uh, you know, it might be very, very um, intricate work, very, very uh, detailed work that you're doing. Now, this woman is spending a lot of time by herself. She's got a back turned to the past, so she has cut out the past and moving forward. Now, if you've been dealing with any legal circumstance, this is also a card that shows victory in any kind of legal circumstance. Uh, but this is getting on top of things and being in charge and, um, you know, also getting a new vision, new idea, maybe a new strategy. Uh, maybe that's what you're working on, a new strategy and how to deal with uh, things that are coming on in your life. Uh, and you're making plans for the future as well because this seems just has to, to work according to a pattern. So, you know, you are, um, you know, designing things maybe, you're working uh, where you're having to work according to a plan, but working very, very hard at what you're doing at this particular moment. So, going, um, uh, what's happening with you is you've got the Empress card and the Six of Pentacles. So, the Empress card, both cards are about abundance. The Empress card is ruled by Venus. Uh, now, this is protecting all that you have worked for, even, uh, you know, looking after family, taking care of the family as well, but protecting what is yours. Uh, but this is also about abundance coming in for you. And you can see this lady's got a bag of money in her hand. So, it looks like, you know, there's finances that are coming your way as well. You know, despite the fact that people have given you, been given you a little bit of grief, uh, you know, wherever you're working, it looks like money or even a promotion coming in for you here yeah, with this Empress card. And the Six of Pentacles brings in more money. You can see somebody giving this child uh, coins. So whatever this new job is that you're going to be getting with this Empress card, it's going to make you quite uh, financially independent and quite comfortable as well. And there's definitely money coming in with that Six of Pentacles. So whatever you've been focusing, you could be signing new job contracts as well with this Ace of Swords, uh, you know, signing something, 
something to do with legal matters or paperwork that brings in the money, because you can see that Six of Pentacles is bringing in the money. In the past, uh, you've got this judgment card over here, so you have changed directions in life, in career. Uh, you may have gone back to something that you were doing. This is like resurrection of the past. Um, there might have been somebody that has come in from the past to give you a, a hand, uh, somebody who emerged to point you in the di right direction. But whatever you're doing now, whatever course you're on now, is the right path to be on because it's going to be bring in success. <coughs> You've got the High Priestess over here. So this is talking about maybe you've been doing, um, this could be that you've been praying a lot for inspiration. But, you know, with the books and the cup over there, it's talking about education. So you might have been involved uh, in further study or, you know, you've been honing in your skills, uh, getting yourself back on point over here. And even with that Ace of Swords, being very focused on that work, being focused on study, on learning. Uh, and this is about, um, you know, being um, uh, specializing maybe, uh, you know, making uh, your skills much better uh, than they have been. So you could have been involved in study. Uh, but also, you know, also, a lot of enlightenment coming in. You've got those lights coming in, uh, the background over there. So something has come to light, but also you've uh, learned a lot, uh, and you've got a lot of knowledge. The high priestess is, uh, the, you know, the keeper of the keys of knowledge. So, uh, she, you know, she understands what is going on. So you have... Uh, gained a lot of information, a lot of knowledge, um, and, uh, you know, this be has been divinely guided as well. So what's on your mind? You've got the Seven of Cups over here. Uh, there may have been people around you that have been doing something that is underhand, behind the scenes. You can see this woman with a veil pouring some kind of uh, poison into this man's cup here. So there might have been a circumstance where somebody's been poisoning the waters, really, or somebody has been saying something that is very, very vile or causing a, some upset. Uh, you know, they've been doing it behind the scenes, stirring up some problems and causing a lot of issues, uh, uh, you know, because they're probably very, very jealous of you or they want, they don't want you to succeed at whatever you're doing. So there's some kind of sneaky behavior going on behind your back. And I think you suspect this as well, because this has been on your mind, that there have been people that have been, uh, you know, doing things, uh, you know, behind the scenes. You've got that veil of, yeah, and you haven't, you know, that information, they're maybe hiding information or they may be sabotaging you as well. <coughs> Now, you've got the Five of Pentacles over here, so you are feeling very, very financially frustrated, uh, feeling as though there's a loss, and you're feeling very alone and very unsupported at this particular moment. You are looking at the past and looking at all the loss that you've had as well, and you are crying about it. So, uh, you know, feeling very despondent at this particular time. Now, going to the future, you've got the Four of Cups over here, so this will be getting together with friends. You need to do that. Uh, you need to get things off your chest. Uh, you need to go out there and socialize and, you know, get some kind of support, drum up some, some support. And also, you can see this man speaking his truth. He's, he's telling these people exactly what uh, he thinks about things. So you need to get on that soapbox of yours and tell people exactly where you're coming from and what is going on. But also, a, a time for you to go out there and relax and have some fun and get, you know, get out of that stress situation because you are feeling very depressed, very upset, very alone. Now you've got the Five of Cups. This is another card about feeling disappointment. Maybe things didn't work out for you in the past uh, and you know you are still crying over the things that have happened. Uh, you can see all these people are mourning the loss of this little bird. Um, you know, And it seems like whatever it is, is dead and gone. It's finished uh, and you do need to move on from that. Now on your hopes and fears, you've got... Um, this card of the Two of Pentacles. So you are balancing finances. You are worried about money over here. Uh, but, you know, you, you can see this woman's counting, uh, counting her coins. So you are worried that whatever new thing you do is not going to bring in the finance, or you might have to do two jobs at the same time, or you have to juggle your finances, or you, you really are worried about money at this particular moment. That's your hopes and fears. Now, going into the future, you've got the Justice card over here, the Four of Pentacles, and the Queen of Cups. So you could be dealing with some kind of circumstance uh, that's uh, illegal. Uh, there's a battle going on over there with that justice card. So you and somebody are up against each other there. They're, you know, it seems like you're evenly matched. It's quite a, uh, it almost looks like a very brutal kind of fight over there. You do have extra support uh, for, you, uh, for you, but it looks like somebody's against you and somebody's causing, uh, stirring up a lot of problems uh, there. 
uh, there might be some news coming in. You've got a lady over there coming up from, be uh, from be behind this curtain. So something could come to light. Uh, you need to listen out for that and look out for that because you can see both their backs are turned to her, but she's popping in from behind the curtain. So, you know, uh, whatever uh, legal battle, it's caused a lot of upset. You can see all the tables and uh, chairs are upturned over there. It's caused a lot of drama uh, and uh, there's somebody that will bring you some kind of enlightenment, some kind of news, some kind of information that you need to listen out for to give you the edge. You've got that four of pentacles over here. So this is about trying to save as much money as possible. Uh, you know, this bull is chasing this man and coins are dropping. So you could be getting, uh, you know, there could be uh, bills that are coming in. You're trying to take your money and, uh, you know, put it into safety, take your money to safety. Um, but you do have the, the, the money. He has got a bag full of money. So, uh, you know, whatever this legal system is, uh, the thing is that it's going on, it looks like it's going to have some kind of payoff uh, for you. So be aware that that could be coming in as well. So even though it's a very difficult battle, it seems like, you know, you might be taking somebody to court um, and this person is, is represented by that bull. Uh, so they might be giving you a lot of um, grief about giving you that money, that payoff. But it looks like you will get it because he is getting that bag of money and moving on. So whoever you're fighting with, uh, there will be some kind of settlement. But they're not too happy about it at all. Uh, whatever's going on. So there's a lot of drama going on over there. Um, a lot of, you know, it, it seems very, very difficult. There's a lot of fisticuffs going on over there. So you're fighting pretty hard, uh, but you will, uh, it looks like you will get a payoff uh, from that particular circumstance. And you've got the Queen of Cups over here, so rising above the uh, whatever you're going through, uh, having a new vision, and being very, very independent as well with this Queen of Cups. So whatever emotional problems you're going through, you'll be able to rise above it. Um, and this could also be that you're dealing with a water sign person, which is um, Scorpio, uh, Pisces, or Sagittarius. And this is somebody, it could be a mother figure that you're dealing with, who will give you some kind of advice that allows you to rise above the circumstance. But whatever's going on, it looks like you know, you're getting over things and uh, you know um, overcoming uh, whatever you're going through, whatever problem you're going through. So don't be so despondent where you're crying over money. It looks like whatever you're going Going through there is some kind of financial payout for you there which will allow you your independence um, and try and go and get some uh, you know find some friends uh, you know um, lighten lighten the mood a little bit because you don't want to let that depression get you down you've got two cards of really feeling despondent over here you've got that five of cups uh here and that four of cups over there uh needs to come into play so you do need to uh vent your feelings as well and it looks like money is going to be coming in over here you've got that six of uh, pentacles so stop worrying so much about the finances there's a breakthrough coming in with that ace of swords so there is a breakthrough in the circumstance whatever it is you will be working hard pretty soon um, you know be very focused uh, and uh, very precise work and be very analytical when you're doing things as well with this ace of swords you have to have uh, you know uh, your skills have to be very honed in and you have to be very focused uh, on that work so uh, try to get uh, you know not to be negative about things things are going to be moving in a positive direction now you've got the unity card over here so embrace this time of deep spiritual growth you may feel called upon to act as a mentor, find a new teacher, or spend time with others who are also on the same sacred path. Now, the unity card is the hierophant card, so letting go of old traditions, but also maybe going back to school or maybe going back to a learning circumstance. You can see this bear teaching both these uh, cubs. So, you know, being a, a student again or even being that teacher. So you could be taking on some kind of teaching role as well uh, with this unity card. The Hierophant is also about if you need any kind of financial or legal advice, you do need to seek it uh, to, in order to get through whatever you're going through. So you've got the Nine of Autumn over here, which says your success has brought you financial security and reward of much deserved time off to enjoy your own company. You will suddenly have a brilliant idea for business or self-employment um, that will be very successful. So this is about relaxing and enjoying the fruits of your labor. And this is about money coming in. So financial security is coming in for you. So don't worry. <coughs> it looks like you will be working pretty hard, working pretty independently. 
this doesn't look like it's going to be uh, the, uh, you know, you're not going to win the lottery in, with this particular nine, a card. It's the Nine of Pentacles. But this is about success coming in through hard work. And it definitely will come your way. Uh, so you are going to get that money coming in uh, for you. And you're going to be able to relax and enjoy, um, you know, things. Um, and then you've got the Prince of Winter. So this is moving very, very quickly. Uh, you might have to make uh, something really... Uh, some decision pretty quickly. So get ready for uh, progress to speed up. The situation uh, requires you to choose logic and intellect over emotion and make your decisions quickly. So whatever is coming in for you, maybe it's, even it's a new job or promotion, you're going to have to act pretty quickly uh, in order for you to move forward. So news coming in very quickly. This is also some kind of legal decision that comes in pretty quickly as well. The Prince of Winter is the um, Prince of Swords, really, so or the Knight of Swords, so something moving very very, very quickly, uh, you know, and it's something to do on a legal front. Uh, so if if you've been dealing with any legal matters that have been a bit stuck, things are going to be moving pretty quickly and it's going to bring in some money as well with that nine of autumn. Uh, if you are, uh, you know, signing new job contracts, even that contract, the news will come in very quickly and you're going to have to sign it very, very quickly. So something uh, where you are going to be required to act pretty quickly. Make sure you are well researched up with that Unity card or the Hierophant card. Uh, so do your research. Make sure you are very logical and you are thinking on your feet uh, when you do things. And try not to get yourself feeling down because all this is about to change. So feeling poverty stricken, uh, you know, that is about to change. Um, you are going to be on top of things and you will win in any kind of circumstance that you're going through at the moment. But make sure you go and get some, uh, find some friends, get things off your chest, speak your truth. Um, you know, um, get all that depression off. Have some fun, really. Uh, so I hope this reading has resonated with you. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, leave me some comments if it has. And thank you so much for watching. Take care now. Goodbye.